Okay, what we have here is an Iris Spaces 2, their second version. This is a USMC standard issue for remote power of radio and computers and satellite communications and then a few other peripherals. <coughs> so we're just going to go over it real quick. I don't have a little time to review a whole review. I just want to do a surface level review here. So the case is uh, one of those watertight, heavy duty, hard to type, pelican type cases <coughs> with the uh, cessation of the Afghanistan campaign there's going to be a lot of um, military gear surplus I think this is the beginning of it so you should check out what you can when you can so it appears unused um, I've looked at it briefly, I haven't had a chance, but we'll just unpack it real quick, do a quick view of what you get. There's a lot of documentation on this on the internet, um, including an older version of the manual. I noticed this one was upgraded to 400 watts for the charge controller, so... Um, so this is a... 2013 version. So you see here they have their <coughs> tactical radio, their uh, military battery, their tactical laptop. Just some ideas. It's it's bare, it's bare essentials basically. So you don't have to run a generator, consume a lot of fuel. The idea is all that fuel transport was uh, getting a lot of people killed so if you have power on site which is renewable you don't have to have so many supply lines <coughs> running things so um, all these adapters are incredible well built it's a very expensive uh, kit uh, very expensive you can look up how expensive so they have all the basic adapters you need and you can order other ones. Um, this is the one of interest for military folks. Get your military batteries charged. Um, this truck goes around your battery. Like I said, I just want to do a quick superficial review. I don't have time to go in depth, in depth here. Um, Just a lot of cool things. But yeah, they have different modes and things you can use to actually charge like uh, AAA and AA uh, nickel metal hydrate batteries. And these are the panels. So the reason why they cost so much is that everything has to be tested. Everything has to be absolutely perfect. Abs it's, like, it's like almost beyond medical grade to have everything um, verified and everything. So plus the the research and the um, see how this is fine here and everything. You can tell it's tested. All the research, all the employees, all the, all the uh, different regulations and stuff—it gets it gets to be a lot of money too. So these are really, um, I mean, just touching them—they feel like I feel like they were made in a in a um, absolutely pure environment, like market chip factory or something. So I believe these are SIGs cells. Um, and they're 62 watts a piece. I was reading in the manual that the manufacturer Iris recommends, if possible, to add up to four more of these to your uh, solar setup. 
four more of these panels so for a total of six for optimum uh, charging capability. But they give you two, which is which is you know Spartan and everything. But when you see the price of all this stuff, you'll you'll probably figure out why. And then the weight of it, I think it was a 28 pounds, something like that. Um, but uh, not not for the uh, lightweights for sure. So all the this is another adapter for 24 volt, 28 volt um, military standard. Um, I think I call it a slave adapter. So you, you can <coughs> run things directly off of a generator or, or a military vehicle. And don't forget the primary use of this is to keep your laptops going. Probably a little bit of your satellite phones and things like that. And then satcom and radios. And maybe some LED lights and things like that. It's just it's a basic kit. Yeah, basic communications. <coughs> I think that's in the, uh, the name of uh, spaces. You can look up what that means. <clears throat> so, alright, other than that, just want to do a quick looky loo. There's a date completed June 4th, 2014. That's when this was made. So, there's probably a, a lifetime to this stuff. Maybe it's getting, the you know, just like a bottle of pills. There's a best buy date. So, it's possible this is just made and just never used and then they figure well it's 2021 you know this stuff might be getting a little old so it got surplus so I have yet to test it out maybe I'll do it in a couple of videos if uh, there's interest but yeah there's there's a complete inventory just look up online and uh, I'll show you what to look for here real quick what manual So when you look online, look for the Solar Portable Alternative Communications Energy System. Emphasis on communications, right? That's what this is for. Okay. Well, take care. This is Military Industrial Museum, and the research continues.